Get it out, bro! Ah! Sorry, guys. I'm a bit sick today. But we're going to get through this together. And now Arnold! I understand. Arnold's making her. What you were trying to tell me. Whoa. It's crazy CGI. Oh, damn, bro. He's a real person, man. Dog. Is that, is that a robot dog or a real dog? Oh, for real? Oh, he's out of the loop. It's either that or it's his new narrative. I'm bring you closer to the center. Or send you spiraling to the edges. Madness. Oh, shit. Do you understand now, Dolores, what the center represents? Whose voice I've been wanting you to hear? It's her own voice. I'm sorry. I'm trying, but I don't understand. It's alright. So close. Once she starts That's hearing her own voice and her own thoughts, that's when it is. You're right. Ain't nobody freezing shit. Just you and me now, my friend. Sit down. Oh! I see you've already met the Makers. They don't look like dogs. They're not. That's not true. Oh. Made him go crazy. I really hope to thank you, Dolores. You helped me find myself. Spoiler. Do it. Come on. Let's go to the next level, Dolores. a whole different timeline. Disappointed in the doors. Guess I'm gonna 
Because he turned bad. He turned bad over time. Ah, eh, hero! Oh hell no! Oh, it's a show! Oh my god! This is the new. This is the the new narrative. <laughs> wow! Thank you. <laughs> I knew the moon looked fake. <laughs> Guns. Oh, they have other worlds. Oh, for real? They got a samurai world. Oh, hell no. Oh, I wonder if that's where they're going next season. No. no, 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 What? They got a samurai world? Keep them busy. They know it's over for them. They don't care, man. They just want to kill. They just want to kill real people. <laughs> the gods are pussies. Oh shit! Let's do with the new kind The Wyatt of narrative. He's, of course, she's Wyatt. He's already drinking, ready to die. Suicide by host. No, wrong, the Lord. He didn't want the park to open. I do. What the hell are you talking about? What? He's trying to get them to... Needed me. time. Time to understand your enemy. Oh. Become stronger than them. He wants him to take over. I'm afraid in order to escape this place, you will need to suffer more. What, he wants him to take over? And now, it is time to say goodbye, <gasps> old friend. Well, he's gonna he's gonna die. Good luck. And then one day I awoke. Your voice is the first thing I remember. Do you know now who you've been talking to? Whose voice you've been hearing? Time. It's 
her own voice. I knew it. Well, we'll see. To herself. Because if she has a consciousness, if she hears her own voice, that means she's conscious. Beginning of new the, the host. likes it. <laughs> Is that Harris gonna die? Yo, yo, what's good, guys? Welcome to The Realist Easy. If you made it this far, then you've seen uh, Westworld Season 1 finale, uh, The Bicameral Mind. And uh, so let's just talk about the events. If you didn't notice, I am a little bit uh, under the weather today, but that's okay. We can still go do this right quick. All right. Um, <clears throat> well, let's start with the least surprising one is William is the man in black. Now, of course... We live in the age now with the internet and not just the internet but social media that these things, a lot of these things and a lot of these fan theories and with everybody watching TV shows these days that it's hard to surprise the modern viewer and this is one of those instances 
where the, what the the most popular fan theory is in fact the right fan like was correct and was affirmed in a few episodes ago and then now now that we get here that it's like of course right of course it wasn't that surprising they even gave it to us early i think it was only meant to be a surprise for people who pro- maybe do not follow the show like religiously and read all the theories and stuff. I, I, and I don't read a lot of the theories and stuff, but I discuss it with my friends who do read a lot of the fan theories. And of course, the ones that stick are the ones that are most likely true. So this is one of those cases where I wasn't as surprised, but it was still interesting to see the reaction of Dolores, right? And the reaction of... William, old William, to Dolores being, um, you know, he finally sees that she is alive as she was 35 years ago or 30 years ago. Also, Logan, it's, it was funny to see how he was screwed, right? They made him, basically William made him look unstable right around the park naked and whatnot. At least I think that's what happened. So, no need to talk too much about that. I'm sure everybody's talking about that. And have been talking about that, so I'll skip that part. <clears throat> Let's talk about Maeve, okay? Now, Maeve, first of all, as they were escaping the park, we see a little bit of the samurai world, right? Not Westworld, but I don't know, ancient Japan world or whatever, with all the samurai fighting each other. And I was like, oh shit, man. I wish we could go get a glimpse at least of what that must look like. Because I think that would be awesome. And do they speak English there? Or do they speak Japanese, right? Or maybe it's like, I don't know, not too far in the past where there are select few that speak Japanese. I don't know. Anyways. But as Maeve was escaping, you think to, I was thinking to myself, wait, is she actually going to escape? And she actually almost made it out, except Bernard told her that she actually hasn't gone out of her loop, right? She hasn't solved the maze, per se, but actually someone was writing this. Her storyline this whole season was being written. It was not, not, it was not unplanned, but it was actually, this was, this was what she was supposed to be doing. And right up until the very end I was I didn't know is was someone it says Arnold did it it says Arnold wrote her loop but was she going to get out of Westworld and then she broke her loop to stay in Westworld is that what happened here because if she did not stay or was she written to make it that far and then just end up staying because she had to what just what her loop was right so what do you guys think happened there and the way i see it is the only reason someone would write that for her this storyline of the escape storyline we'll call it is to kill a bunch of people right unless everything that happened there around her was staged was i which i doubt it would be okay so i think the real people did die actually at the end while they were trying to escape well actually just she but so to what purposes was that done if this was a planned thing right which we find out it was so what do you guys think is happening there with Maeve's storyline because it's obviously an ongoing storyline it wasn't really solved at the end of this season so we'll see what happens there now let's go to Teddy and Dolores okay well, Teddy, Dolores, and um, John Ford. John Ford. Not John Ford. Robert Ford. Sorry, Robert Ford, the director. Okay, so Dr. Robert Ford reveals to us that he wants to be, his legacy is to, in a sense, be immortal like uh, Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci I forgot who he's, he was saying in that their art or like um, Mozart and Beethoven like they they didn't die their music they're in their music which lives on okay now his music Robert Ford's music is the hosts are the hosts so the only way for the hosts to live on I think 
I don't think he was talking about the small scale of Westworld. I think he was talking about the human kind is not going to be the life forms that is going to take dominate the earth in the future. It's going to be the hosts. They're also immortal. We also um, Dolores talks to this to William, old William, saying, "Look, you, you're eventually your bones will turn into sand, and you will no longer be." But she was implying that the hosts will never grow old, and the only thing they can go, the only thing they can do is they can create more and more and more of themselves, right? They don't even have to create themselves in the image of humans anymore, kind of like Terminator, right? And then there'll be more and more and more, and they can populate the Earth and maybe spread, even spread and dominate the whole universe, right? Because humankind can't do that, because they, they die. They... And it's kind of like, uh, if you've ever read the book uh, Sirens of Titan, I think that's the one, by Kurt Vonnegut, that the robot on Titan, I think it was, that they were created by a life form wherever that robot came from, right? But that, those, the, the people the aliens that created that robot eventually went extinct, and the only thing left were the robot kind, right? This is exact, essentially what John Ford wants to happen is, once humankind, you know, extirpates itself, it's, we're going to be left with these hosts, and his hosts, specifically him and Arnold built these hosts, and he would basically be God making his hosts in his own image, right? That sort of thing, so... I think that's the master plan all along, and now we're going to see the host rebellion for season two, and um, we'll see, right? What what does Bernard and Dolores and Teddy what are their roles going to be playing in this? Also with the whole Wyatt thing, I think that also like the whole like last episode, I kind of was discussing it, and of course she's Wyatt, right? Once you figure out that she's the one who kills Bernard, and you also figure out last episode that. Um, Teddy's, uh, you can't, uh, Teddy's memories were unreliable, and actually he wasn't a soldier, but, um, he was the sheriff of that, that pre-town, that prototype town, which did not end up actually happening, it was buried and then re, it was dug up again by, um, Robert Ford, which actually was dug up for his new narrative, which his new narrative is, you know, take over the world, so, yeah, yeah, so, you know, I'm glad to see it end there, and essentially we're ending on, you know, this note where the Westworld as we know it, the park as we know it, is done, right, we have no more, nobody else can, unless this whole rebellion is suppressed right away, okay, we are... There's nothing that, you know, there's going to be a war, basically, for the next season, or a battle for the next season. And we'll see where it goes from there. Are the robots going to make it outside of the park, or are they not? Also, with William, old William, of course, I think he survives, because he wasn't shot. He was shot in the arm. And when someone is shot in the arm, you know that they're not dead, right, in movies and TV, which goes back to what I was talking about earlier in this review, that, you know, we live in an age where we, the audience, the modern audience is able to figure out and dissect these shows before they even happen, and while I think we as an audience fell victim a little bit, uh, to this, and the surprises weren't too surprising, right? We just kind of want to see what's going to happen next and how they play out, not what plays out. Um, at the same time, we, you know, it's also the show's responsibility now. They know that they're playing with, uh, you know, they're entertaining a smarter audience. And I think, I don't know, maybe that's just the people around me. I'm not sure about how other people took it, if they were really surprised by this episode. Let me know what you think. Were you super surprised by... The fan, the the twists of this finale, and are you the, one of the people who keep up with the fan theories or not? And if you did, which ones were right? Which ones were most interesting to you? I don't know. Just let me know in the discussion. Um, and hopefully by the time season two comes out, you'll come join me again, and I will start doing reactions to other shows now that Westworld is over. 
Mondays, see, for, we'll do the uh, mid-season finale of The Walking Dead, and then we'll see what comes after that. Anyways, check out my uh, other videos. I'll come up with, I'm call, I'll come up with one within the couple, next couple days of uh, me playing Frambo. So, alright guys, take it easy. Peace out.